Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalop. Today we're going to be doing a 10 minutes or less on Lumeria, published by Cube, Factory of Ideas, and designed by Jacob Sidlecki. And if you haven't heard of Lumeria, let me give you a very brief introduction. This is going to be a tactical card-based skirmish game where you are going to control one of multiple deities, all fighting to try and stay relevant. Why would that be important? Well, if you're a deity, if you're a god in this world, if people don't believe in you, then you don't exist. So this is very much a battle for your life. In this game, you're going to be controlling multiple card-based units and sending them across a board trying to fight or be victorious in multiple different scenarios. At the end of the day, you're going to be using your special god powers, the powers of each one of your units, to try and best your opponent. And as I said, whoever wins, well, gets to have songs written about them, have probably some uh, some chapels in their name, and the other, well, the other will fade into anonymity for the rest of eternity. Yes, it is. It is a very gruesome world, the one of Lumeria, but enough with all these words let's go ahead and jump straight into the fight humans and conflict are inextricably connected if history has anything to say about it that's unfortunate but it's understandable when people believe with such conviction something that someone else doesn't but there is one aspect of our lives that can bring even more turmoil faith Faith in a higher power, in a consensus among the people and the truth of that deity. Follow that thread of life and you'll find conflict. Though the real danger lies in when two of these communities collide in a fraught encounter of warring beliefs. Humans fighting humans, gods skirmishing against gods. What's at stake? Why? The very existence of the deities and their manifestation in the minds of the people. It's life or death. One cannot be the spiritual lord of a people if those people are wiped out or converted. The rise of civilizations, the fall of empires. It's all tied to the gods of our hearts and the spirits who we pay homage to. When humans start to forget a deity, that's when a god must fear and look for greener pastures elsewhere. More fertile soil to seed more faithful. That's when a god must seek Lumeria. Lumeria War of the Gods is an upcoming game from designer Jacob Sidlecki and the Cube Factory of Ideas, brought to vivid life by the artistry of Katarzyna Manililowska and Pawel Kurowski. It's the violent exploration of a land besieged by gods, with the fate of the deities in the balance and the swirl of zealous believers clashing in bloody, righteous fashion. Lumeria is no place for peace and quiet words between thoughtful friends. That time has passed, and desperation is in the air. Like the frantic last acts of a scared pantheon a la American Gods and the open world warfare of the Total War game series, Lumeria promises action, intrigue, and a high-stakes tussle between some figures that you'd assume to be immortal. Yet gods are only as alive as the faith of those who believe in them. Gods are playing a chess game for their lives, and humans are the pawns on the board. Lumeria is a card-based skirmish game, a war simulation with dire consequences for the losing deity. In the eons-long chronicle of their supernatural lives, Lumeria acts as a religious intermission for the victors, and it's a sobering final act for the defeated. Players will fight towards an objective of a scenario, which might be victory points and battlefield positioning. It's a head-to-head -head mind game of tactics and faith in the outcome. 
It's a codependent relationship between the gods and their followers. They strengthen each other in the fight and create a more visceral blow to the enemies across no man's land. The combination of human factions and attention-starved deities will create the unique nature of each fight, and the struggle for belief will play out in a tense struggle for control of the board as players push back and forth across the battlefield. The clash of leather, steel, and bone will come down to who maneuvers the most deftly and who unleashes their tactical advantage at the right moment. On a gridded board, players will move their units across from deployment zones forward into the fray. Special maneuvers like force marching and range volleys occur outside of the normal turn order, but in between those interruptions lies the beating heart of this conflict. A player will activate their units moving, entrenching their position, aiming their advance, and attacking with everything they have, with the intention of dismantling the other player's defense. This process alternates between the two opponents until one is victorious and one is forgotten. Each deity has a unique ability, however, and that can prove the difference between the sides if the gods are judicious in dishing out their divine justice. Lumeria is a game that forces you to expand what you know about skirmish games. These may well be miniatures on a map, but the cards are reinforced by deities with special powers and each game can be a novel exchange between combinations of forces that you haven't encountered before. This is a game that grows and evolves as more factions and deities are brought into the fray. Every fight will feel like a new challenge, but the true struggle is not what lies in front of you but who sits opposite of you. That individual is a false believer, the threatening pagan who will disrupt your way of life if you don't squash their faith and subdue their physical presence in Lumeria. This is a dance of deception and a fight for who can make the right moves. Religious conviction must be accompanied by tactical awareness if you want to see the fight to the end. Position your troops well and attack at the opportune moment. Your very gods depend on it. With that said, this might not be right for you if you dislike the idea of a card-based war game. It's a fierce competition that can become wildly unbalanced if a player makes poor battlefield decisions multiple times over, and it can swing one way or the other depending on player experience. That's the nature of physical conflict and of battlefield chaos. But players comfortable with skirmish games should also be wary that this is not a pure combat simulation, with only the wits of the players and the stats of the units. Gods are in play, and there will be abilities that can change the course of a fight when used carefully. That will be something to keep in mind if you're a war game purist. At the end of the day, players will be deploying units at the back and pushing them forward. That rope behavior will allow many players to get into a tactical rhythm, but it may be stifling to others who hoped for something more fluid and free-ranging. Lumeria War of the Gods might be right for you though, if you enjoy tense, competitive skirmish games designed to test your mettle in close quarters. Like a general on the battlefield making quick decisions, you'll need to position units around the board and make the most of their strengths, while accommodating for their weaknesses. It's a spatial puzzle with lethal results, and the deity who oversees it all will be able to lend a hand when needed, giving players some unique abilities that will make them feel powerful. There is no one there to hold your hand, but some will love the burden of martial authority. And players will find the exploration of different combinations of factions and deities to be rewarding, seeing how their skills and abilities can be exploited against an opponent. Lumeria is a brutal clash of ideas and beliefs, giving players the opportunity to settle their differences with an air of finality. One god stays, one people remains. The others are cast out of Lumeria and sentenced to an empty existence. Lumeria is something that will catch your eye if you're in the mood for a war with divine repercussions. And if the card-based combat encounters seem right up your alley, also look into Arrakan Wars by nothing but games. But if you're more transfixed by the power struggles within the Pantheon, check out Divinus, 
by Lucky Duck Games. Hello and welcome back. We've hoped you've had a wonderful conflict that has gone in your favor and to the loser, well, unfortunately, I don't quite remember who you are or wait, who am I talking about again? Either way, we've hoped you like the video and that you continue liking our 10 minutes or less format. Please let us know in the comments what things you liked about the format, what things you'd like to change, and above all, what games do you want us to bring to this particular style in the future? We've done a few of them, so if you haven't checked them out, please be sure to do that. But regardless of what you do, remember to do the important thing and sing the praises of your favorite deities because they might not be here if you don't believe in them. We'll catch you guys next time.